touching it. I was trying to hold the shit. You keep touching this bullshit. Stupid ass. Yeah, keep that part too. Yeah, keep this part, motherfucker. All right, motherfucker. Yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's just crazy co-parenting or soul parenting. You know, um, I did want to touch on that because it's crazy that because that's what we we're talking about, right? Everything. Life. Everything. Um, just being like judged as a mother like nothing you do is really good enough to be honest like you could be doing everything that is drawn out and like everything that describes a good mother you could be that but people still criticize whether it's your family people around you friends just whatever but um but what you, all you have to do is just do whatever makes your kids happy to be honest and sometimes putting your feelings aside for your partner your significant other your mother or father of your children sometimes you have to get together just because that makes them happy and just to give them good memories and good times as a family together And you don't have to be together to work together. You don't have to be together to work together. Um, I I thought uh, we were going to last forever only because I didn't want baby mamas and shit. You know what I'm saying? So whoever I had children with, I was going to try to stay with them until our children was grown. You know what I'm saying? And it just so happened to be this beautiful young lady. You know what I'm saying? Um, but things happen. And motherfucking, um, you know, um, you just got to work together and, and, and me, me personally, you know, she feels like she's a good mom. You know, I feel like I'm a great dad. You know, I feel like she can be a better mother and I'm sure she feels like I can be a better father. You know what I'm saying? That's just this life. You know what I'm saying? We all think people can be better at things. We all think, you know, people should put forth more effort than what they're putting forth. You know what I'm saying? But people are only going to put towards the effort, put forth the effort that they really want to put forth. You know what I'm saying? Just like she sits here and smokes that thing. She could have put an effort to put that thing down. I told her earlier. Yeah, smoke this. Same shit. Hey, hey, I barely smoke. You can ask motherfuckers in the town. You know what I'm saying? I'm slowing down. Anything. That's cool. That's what you're doing. That's what you choose to do right now. Right. Everyone makes their own choices. Right. At the end of the day. Right. And I'm not saying that you're wrong about that. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just pointing I'm just things saying, out. By the end of January, I'm not going to be doing nothing. Uh, yeah. Nothing in my body that's not water and fucking. Honestly, I want to try to be like a pescatarian after that, after my cleanse, my 30 day cleanse. What else? How do you feel about the space that we're in? I feel like shouldn't be all the way in Atlanta while your kids are in Arizona because they physically need you as you see like they're way happier right now that you're here Ayana's way happier Ayana always looks droopy and sad every fucking day and even though like she acts like she doesn't want to be around you it's because she's just scared of like your authority but she needs that like I you saw this morning I'm brushing a serious hair she's crying for no fucking reason I'm using like a horse brush you know I'm slicking her hair back because she wanted it like mine or she wanted to use gel but she just wanted to put gel in her hair and do whatever she wants so I'm brushing her hair and she's crying and I know it doesn't hurt but I tell her to stop you know be quiet it doesn't hurt I'm almost done blah 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 she keeps crying as soon as you said a serious stop like it's just the difference between a, um, a man and a woman. Like, the kids need their father around. Understood. And I, I believe that 100% too. I believe that 100%.
2016. I think right now this is the perfect time for me to pursue the things that I need to pursue for me to be able to get back to spending the same time, the same amount of time with my girls as I was spending with my girls before I left. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't no, there was no absence. You know what I'm saying with my girls before I left. You know what I'm saying for the first what year of her life or six months of her life, the first three years of Aurora's life, the first what seven seven of Aliza's Ayana Ayana and the first what of Aliza's. Six. I was there 100% every yeah, single day, no lapse, exactly. no time, none of that shit. So when it comes to us breaking apart and, and, and me having to go finally, nigga, let me, let me go, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I needed to be out in the streets. I need to get out here and motherfucking, you know, get some new creativity. The music that I created is amazing in my opinion, since I've been there, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and, and once again, you know my goal. I'm not a nine to five working motherfucker. I will bust my ass and work hard at any motherfucking job, uh, gig, uh, 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 event, whatever, whatever it is. I'm gonna bust my motherfucking ass, and everybody knows that about me. Everybody knows that about me. I'm gonna bust my ass because I'm not no regular working ass nigga. But yeah, motherfucking, uh, so right now I'm pursuing my dreams and my goals and shit, you know what I'm saying? So that I don't have to worry about working a nine to five until I'm motherfucking 60 and seven years old. That's not my goal. That's not in my dreams. That's not in my plans at all, at all. Just like I was spending time with them before, I want to be spending time with these niggas the same goddamn way as soon as I get the fuck back. Part of the time, you know, it's me. I would love to homeschool my niggas. I don't like the way schools are going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they teach half the time. But, you know, hey, we all could be better. And I'm willing to put towards that effort. You know what I'm saying? To teach my kids and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, this isn't going to be a drawn out ass video. Um, you know. I just wanted to get on here and express how I felt, you know, I think it's important for people to see um, relationships that worked and that have fell off and that can work again, you know what I'm saying, in a friend relationship, you know what I'm saying, in the co-parenting relationship and in the way it's supposed to, you know, um, yeah, that's just my thoughts, positivity, love. Is everything, you know, that's what I spread and that's what I want my girls to spread. That's what I want my girls to receive, positivity and love. Love, loyalty, power, honor, and respect. <laughs> that's area. Say peace.